we had many, many questions. We've tried to um, group them into seven key questions. I want to acknowledge that um, we haven't been able to answer everything, but we're going to do our best and we'll be back here in a week from now to keep answering your questions. But the very first question we have um, is, does IBD make COVID-19 worse? Uh, and I'm going to ask uh, Remo to start um, us to answer this question. I think just oh, to there, you go. there we go. Uh, so good evening, everyone. So I think that it's a common question that we're getting of whether um, does IBD make COVID-19 worse. And uh, in general, we don't think that um, that IBD in itself makes uh, the disease worse or increases your risk of uh, developing or contracting the disease. Uh, so um, we. As I said, we get a lot of questions uh, surrounding this, and a lot of it has to do with, you know, should I be at work because of, uh, I have IBD, et cetera. Now, theoretically, um, the way the virus gets into the body is through a particular receptor um, that I won't go into, but that receptor is expressed at higher levels uh, in inflamed tissue, including tissue uh, within the gut. So um, we don't have any evidence for that right now, but if your IBD were to be active, uh, theoretically, and we'll keep an eye on this through the registry, you could actually have an increased risk of uh, contracting the disease. The other, but the most important things, I think, when it comes to this uh, have been stressed in the presentation. The risk factors that we need to be, we need to worry about in our IBD patients are the same risk factors um, that uh, Gil had outlined previously, uh, meaning if you're an older patient uh, with uh, inflammatory bowel disease, uh, your risk is uh, somewhat higher. The other thing that we need to consider is if you were to test positive, and we'll probably talk about this a little bit more uh, during uh, the end of the, the uh, question and answer, if you were to test positive and you were on some of these therapies, um, that we treat patients with inflammatory bowel disease, that may worsen your course. But the most important thing here is please, 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 and we stress this over and over again, please do not stop your medications. Because what we're afraid of is if you're on, if you have stable disease and you're on one of these medications, which you know may suppress your immune system, and then you come off and you were to flare, most flares that we treat, uh, we treat most flares with prednisone. And prednisone is probably the single uh, single drug that increases the risk for worsening disease. And we have data out of China for that as well. So um, simply, I don't think it makes it worse. We need to treat each other the way uh, we would treat the general public. Um, and for IBD patients in general, that social distancing is extremely, extremely important. We all need to be part of the solution for this.